Wow, okay. <laughs> Woo. I have a kid. So they deal with like naked guys right off the fucking bat. It kind of fucks with the mystique. I get, I don't know, I kind of like this phone right now. Just... <laughs> okay, my bad. Uh, wait, I'm still in uh... Shit's already got me fucking really paranoid. Fuck yeah. Bah, bah, bah.
Yeah, what's up? Super dark, my first. I'm gonna assume that I can eat this guy. And I'm gonna eat this person. I need food. I got food. Let's eat. I wonder if there is kind of like a, like a going tribal thing that you can do in this game. This is what's going on, you know? A couple of guys in the wild. I need to find my son or whatever. Let me see if I let me see if I outran this because he's clearly tracking. Make sure I don't bring shit on. Seconds. What's going on here? What's going on? Do I get a second chance? Is this part of the game? Or am I just fucking dead? Holy shit! This is part of the game? Oh my god! Oh yeah, fucking swing, man. Shit! Oh my god! <laughs> you know what's really great is this game that does a really good job of setting up the concept of that final confrontation. Like, all right, whether or not the you dying and ending up in the fucking, basically, blood, <laughs> regardless of the fact whether or not that's a good or every day or not, it does a really good job of making you feel like you need to prepare for something. Because right now, my eye am 
clearly under fucking mash for the bullshit that these guys are gonna throw. And the only way I can really get there is if I actually prepare myself. So it makes me want to be work into the craft homes more. It makes me want to invest more in actually setting up shop. But the only downfall I think of this system is the fact that they make such an effort to let you know that you have a kid. If they kept it purely survival, I think it would have been more interesting. But instead, you're like, because you can't, it's that same fucking problem you get with every single survival game that involves elements like this. How can you practically care about somebody else when you can't care for yourself? And that's really the gist of this game. The crafting elements, the survival elements, all that plays into a really great fantasy. And I'm stuck thinking I way do not want to have that thought in the back of my head that my kid is out there. And if anything, it just makes me think further that I, as the character, as well as I, as the player, need to expect my kid to be dead. Because there's no way the kid would survive in an environment like this by themselves, and chances are, based on everything else that I've seen so far, that this kid is going to be totally dead by the time I get to him. Which really raises in the question, then, why include the kid at all? Including the kid doesn't do much for me, does it?